Hello, and welcome to this retail software tutorial. What I'm going to show you here are all the steps you have to do in order to set up your StarTech point of sale, as well as some other useful features. During this video, I will be using a mouse so you can get a better view of what I'm doing. I won't use any printer or scanners, even though I'll show you how to set them up. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Every time you log into your software account, you will be welcomed with an open balance. For now, we're going to leave it at zero. Let's start by creating a new item. In order to create a new item, you click here and can use the barcode if you want to give this item a unique barcode, but it's not a requirement. Let's put in the product's name. Select which category it applies to. How much does it cost for you? And how much do you sell it for? If you're going to use the weighing scale for this item, you can enable it right there. If not, just leave it as it is. And here we have a couple other options like shelf life, remarks, and stuff, but they're not necessary for right now. Let's save and add, and now it's been created, and you can move on to adding another item right away. Here's the new item that we just created. Next, I'm going to show you how to manage your accounts. Simply go to the settings, and from the top right, you can change your password. You can just do that, um, and you can write down your shop info here. Make sure this information is correct, your shop name, the type, and your industry type. You can just select the one that's closest to your business type. And all this information right here is going to show up on your customer's receipts. So you got to make sure this information is accurate, okay? If you need to create an employee account, simply click here on account. Okay, so here we, uh, we can put in their employee names. So you just give them an employee number and their employee account number. You can do as many as you want. So uh, you just create a password, user ID, and fill in their name. And right down here, you can give them permissions. So like they could have reports, returns, items, cost price, that sort of stuff. This is where you get all of their permissions. All right, let's back up a little bit. All right, so if you want to do a shift, you go back, click on the more option, and click shift. There we go. And then you can choose to do day closings, print reports, and then you just click the shift button. Now your employee can just simply put in their name and password, and they're ready to start their shift. Now I'm going to show you how to customize your receipt. So you start, you go to settings. Then you're going to go to hardware and choose cashier receipts. Now all the information you need is right here on the side. And here you can change all of the name of the company, the header. You can add a logo, um, change your font sizes, your header sizes, that sort of stuff. You can basically customize as much as you want. Like here, you could add a note in on the footer. You could also have it say, I don't know, um, Merci beaucoup. And you see, it shows up right over here. So this is where you customize your uh, receipt printers. All right, so let's get out of here. Save. Okay. So to create a barcode receipt, you go right there. You, uh, you're going to choose a template, and you have a couple of options here. You have like the small items, uh, some more specific ones. Let's just choose the normal item to start. So on here on the side, you're going to have your member price and your regular price. So if you don't want the member price, you just click right there, and now it'll just be the name, the price, and your barcode information. Okay, so let's cancel that out. Now, if you want to print it, you go ahead and select it, press confirm. And from here, you select which item you want to do and how many copies you want printed. And then you just click print. 
That's how you print barcodes. Okay. Um, okay. Now I'm going to show you how you can easily and efficiently uh, manage your stock. So go back to your menu and then you click on stock. And then right here, so you can choose between stock in, stock out, uh, stock loss, something like that. But we're going to choose stock in. Then you're going to highlight an item. So let's say we got apples coming in. So how many do we got coming in? Um, well, let's say we have 30 apples. Now, if you're using a barcode, you can just scan it and it'll automatically fill your information in. At that point, you just need to enter the quantity uh, of the amount. Or you can enter it manually if you want to do it that way too. So there are our, our apples, but let's just say, let's say we got some tomatoes coming in as well. Uh, we got 50 of them. So we'll press there, press OK. And maybe we got something else came in. We've got 100 of something, some other kind of thing. OK, and here you can print the bill well, or not if you don't want to. You can add a remark. And when you're done, you just press End. And it'll just tell you it's successful. So let's go back. And then if you want to see the overview, you go into settings, stock, and then you uh, hit your item. And here it is, it's going to show you exactly your stock levels for all your items. You can export it with this, or you can search by product from here. You just put in the name or the barcode, or you can search by the first or last name. And the software will find it. All right, let's go back. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at some reports. Here we got, uh, we got sales a summary. Um, we've got like all of this stuff here, tax reports and uh, sales analysis. So basic sales, but let's look at item sales rank. So here's everything we've got and you could see how well they're doing and you can, you know, sort by today or the month, the week, yesterday, but we'll sort by week. And here you go. There's some more options and details and we can like, if you want to search for specific times, or you can even search by employee by using this little field right here. Just highlight the employee's name. There you go. And then you can uh, print it or export it. And, and it's all cloud-based, so you have unlimited space. So no report will ever get lost, and you can go back in time as far as you want. Oh, and uh, you can add as many extra items as you want. Okay, so there's a lot of other features we could talk about. Um, let's, we'll go over briefly. We'll, we'll talk about promotion. Uh, we could create a promotion for your store. You can use like buy one, get one free, store-wide discounts, gift cards, cash rebates, that sort of stuff. Um, you can just like click on one. You know, but we're not going to go into a lot of detail. They're pretty easy to understand. Um, if you want to do some membership information, you go here, press your membership settings. And this is for like discounts. You can do uh, member prices as well. Uh, if you want to do that, you can go back to discounts. and then. This is where you can list all of your members. You can sort them by names and you can add new people, that sort of thing. Okay, so in the hardware section, um, we can connect printers. Uh, we just do a uh, auto search and it will find any USB wired Wi-Fi or Bluetooth printers in the area. All right, so if you wanna add a waiting scale, it's right here. And now uh, if you wanna do a card reader, you just click on that. Uh, we've got custom display, dual screens, so you can use any of these. Okay, finally, I'm gonna show you how a normal transaction works. Uh, there's no tax on these items, so if you wanna add the tax, it's real easy to do. You just uh, click on the item. So uh, we'll just add a uh, tax to this apple, so click the apple. So here are the list of taxes you have, and you can add as many taxes as you want to the item. Okay, now we press enter, and then we hit total in the bottom right. And now we've got our, our payment methods. So we've got the credit cards here, and then um, we've got the salesperson. You can link the right sale to the right employee. And when you're done, you hit finish, and it'll say settlement success, and it's going to print your receipt. And oh, down here, you have the uh, stock and printer options. Uh, it'll let you know that your printer's connected. Here you have your stock options, so it'll kind of tell you everything, uh, your stock levels. So it'll let you know if anything's about to run out. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, that's it for this tutorial video. Um, if you need any more information, um, just reach out to us at thestartech.com. It's very simple to learn, and um, we appreciate your time. Thank you.